Hey guys, OG Albina here. Bring you guys our BFO Surge to a round two matchup against Shadow Stitch. Um, and I don't remember his team name because we're not doing team names unless I know it has Chandelures in it. But Shadow Stitch is a really cool dude. Definitely go check him out in the description below. Um, he makes solid content. He's a good player. And uh, yeah, we have our work cut out for us this week. Um, really quick, I'm gonna go over our transactions and our matchup really quick. Give you a you know a really quick brief overview on what we're bringing and why we're bringing it, and then we'll jump right into the battle. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to the channel. Last time I checked, I believe it's only like 60, uh, 70 percent of you guys that are actually watching the channel aren't subbed. So if you haven't clicked the button, you might have thought you did. I'd appreciate it if you clicked it. No. That being said, we'll go over our team really quick. I'll pop a matchup on screen as well right now. Um, but our new team, the drops that we made is we dropped Polyrath and Noctowl for Blaziken and Gorbis. Kind of upgrading our team a little bit, especially in the offensive category with that Blaziken. Now we do lose um, a very solid bulky water option, which is actually really unfortunate with um, the matchup we have this week. Uh, but overall, I think it makes our team a lot better. Um, and going forward, we can kind of, you know, maybe mitigate that water type weakness. Though I do think our water is pretty good this week. But now... Full matchup. Our team, if you did forget or you haven't looked on the screen, um, consists of Venomoth, Rhyperior, Tauros, Blaziken, Gorbis, Abomasnor, Chimeco, and Banette. While our opponent's team is terrifying and it is very top heavy, it is just six Pokemon and it consists of Metacham, Masquerade, Fortress, Feraligator, Arcanine, and Vileplume. Man, terrifying. Really, really high top end offense and Metacham. And for alligator and even arcanine to an extent um and lots of hazard support which is really bad for us because we actually do not have defog at all i thought blaze still got it i thought chimeco still got it apparently they just don't get it in this game which is no bueno for us i am definitely not happy about that one for sure i was really really relying on chimeco getting defog and then i went to build for this week and it doesn't have it so we are very liable to have webs go up on us we're very liable to have um hazards stacked up on us like crazy spikes and rocks especially are very, very good against our team. Um, so we're going to have to be very smart about how we play this game. But um, I think we definitely have the squad to do it. And uh, let's jump into it, which is going to be our first member in Chimeco. Rocking out the leftovers. Levitate as its ability. Uh, we are Psychic, Energy Ball, Recover, and Calm Mind. Eevee's Rise, we got 244 HP, 236 defense, and 28 speed with a Impish. A, oh my gosh, I'm Impish. Oops. Okay, um, might need to fix that before the game. With a bold nature is what it should be. Very, very dumb by Owen. Um, but what this thing does is it actually checks Medi very, very well. Uh, we take on even banned variants of Medicham because it doesn't get double edged gem, which is very, very good for us. We can soft check Arcanine as well. Physically offensive Arcanine will not be able to really bully us down. And uh, we'll check any non-crunch variants of Feraligan, or at least chew one from it. With Calm Mind, this is a very viable win con as soon as we chip or get rid of the Fortress, and even then we can potentially set up on Fortress as well. Um, as long as we don't let this thing get poisoned by like a Vileplume or like T-Spike from the Fortress, which I don't think really come, uh, and we like get rid of like a Life Orb Mask Range or something like that first, or again, I guess we kind of have to uh, scout if it's like Life Orb Crunch from either the Gator or the Arcanine. We don't check them as well, but we definitely check the many, and that's gonna be the most important thing in this matchup is making sure that thing doesn't run through our team because it literally probably okos everything else on our team so we have to be very very careful about that thing next up we have our designated lead our new member on the team in blaze again rocking out the focus sash blazes its ability um we are evs wise we are rocking out with max v max special attack with flamethrower focus blast counter and protect this is going to be our designated lead it leads well versus fortress it leads well versus Masquerade because for Sash, we'll be able to take an Air Slash and Flame throw it down. And if it's Sash itself, we can still, you know, potentially deal with it that way. I believe Masquerade is pretty, uh, it's, it's the same speed, base 80. It's a lot of base 80. Um, so if we can win a couple speed ties or at least win the important speed tie, we'll be in a good spot. Or if it's not Sash, we'll be able to Oko it with a Flamethrower. Focus Blast is a great option to hit things like Arcanine and Feraligator. Um, one, without lowering our defense, but most importantly, not getting Intimidate buffered by the Arcanine. It's not going to be able to switch into it as, us as well. Uh, we lead well versus Medicham. I'll probably switch out, but I'll protect turn one, scout and see if it's choice, if it wants to kick like a high jump kick, if it wants to fake out, anything like that. I don't really lose anything in doing so because I don't think he bulks up on my face. Um, and then I can pivot on to Chimeco. But the main thing is it doesn't allow Feraligator set, set up. And Feraligator is by far the biggest threat to my team, in my personal opinion. Um, if it gets up a Dragon Dancer too, and I don't have ways of sufficiently dealing with it at the time, which it, it is kind of hard for me to do so. Um, SD is also a really scary possibility with Aqua Jet. Um, I'm in a really, really tough spot. So I have just the Focus Sash plus Counter to be able to basically, um, you know, revenge that thing or get rid of it at least if it tries to start setting up on my team if I have my Sash intact. And that's why it's going to be a lead because I don't have any removal. And uh, I can at least bully the removal that wants to set up the removal. And then if he goes into the Gator and tries to set up and win on me, it's not going to happen. 
So that's obviously great. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be Blaziken this week. Next up, we have our Gorbis rocking off the wide herb. Um, I believe it's Swiss Swim as its ability. Surf, Ice Beam, Shell Smash, and Protect. Yet another Protect Mon. EVs wise, we are rocking out with 68 HP, 4 Defense, 4 Spadef, 212 Special Attack, and 220 Speed with a Modest Nature, like I said. Again, this Pokemon's a phenomenal win con. Um, one, it naturally chews hits from Feral Now, we can't do too much back, but once we set up, plus two Surf is not going to tickle. I believe it does two at KO the Feral which is great. Um, we can Oko the Metacham with a little bit of chip. Same thing with Masquerade. Same thing with Fortress. Um, we Oko the Arcanine, and if we get chip on Vileplume prior, we can move with that as well. And Vileplume is really not the best version of my team in general, in my personal opinion. So I think Gorbis is a great win con this game, especially if we can position it correctly. We have Protect for fake outs from that Metacham, just because, you know, I want to scout for that. Or like a Custap Explosion Fortress set, which is definitely another very viable possibility for me. Um, and yeah, that is going to be our Gorbis. With the wider, we'll at least be able to offset webs if they end up coming in and, uh, you know, taking a factor, though. I'd prefer that not to be the case because I'd rather not have my defenses lowered with the amount of priority he has on his team. Um, and I did really quickly want to mention why we don't have Venomoth, which in theory looks like it can definitely win the game with Tinted Lens plus Bug Buzz and things like that. But the amount of priority he has, the Sturdy Mon that he has, things like that, I just didn't think it's really going to find the opportunity to set up and win. So we actually didn't end up going with Venomoth. And our last Mon is going to be Tauros making its debut, rocking off the Choice Scarf. Um, Sheer Force has our ability with Rock Climb, Double Edge, Flamethrower, and Rock Slide. I believe we are Max 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 Adam and does outspeed a Max Speed Metacham, which is more perfect because this thing does not have great switch ins. We get the Fortress once it's uh, pretty much in 2 k range the next time it comes in, or we can just 2 k with Flamethrower, which is great. We have Rock Slide for both the Masquerade as well as the Arcanine. And then we have Double Edge plus Rock, uh, rock Climb, uh, you know, just to hit the rest of the team. Uh, Double Edge gives us a little bit of recoil, but it's 100% accurate, and Rock Climb is a really strong stab option that doesn't have um, any recoil drawbacks, which is great. It outspeeds a plus one Gator, it outspeeds a Scarf Metacham, um, and it outspeeds these things under webs if they end up getting up. So I think I built a team, despite having no removal, that can still deal with um, Shadow Stitch's teams if webs do go up, um, and, you know, still functions well outside of webs, which is obviously great as well. But yeah, that is going to be the team. I'm losing my breath, I talked super fast because I knew I had a lot to say, but I didn't want it to be too long. Uh, I'll be right back with the battle. Alrighty, guys, here we are with the battle. We can see the... Four, I almost said six. We can see the four that Shadow Stitch ended up bringing. We see no Vile Plume, which is cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of his team, which actually it's not letting me. Um, I should have done Team Builder before this, so I believe you guys will know what the team is. I gotta go to Snapchat just to take the picture. I could have just written it down, I suppose, too. Especially because my phone is tweaking. Yeah, we're just gonna write it down. Give me one second. We have Fori. Gator, Medi, and Arcanine. Pretty much what we thought was going to come, to be completely honest. I have a pretty safe designated lead in my kicks on fire. I'm like Blaziken. Um, and we'll just do the thing. I'm recording right now. I'll be on a sec. Okay, so yeah. Good luck. Have fun to Shadow Stitch. Um, I'll link it down in the description below. Definitely go check them out. And uh, yeah, we see a Medi Cham Lidaruskis. We're gonna lead off with our blaze again. I feel pretty comfortable going for a protect here. As I quite simply do not think he's going to attack me. Or, uh, what do you call it? Bulk up or anything. High jump kick. Okay. Well, that's dope. So we protect there. We take off half of that thing's HP, which is also super sick. Um, and then I'm just gonna make the play hard out into, um,. My Chimeco, which is great. Yeah. Hard Chimeco. That does a decent chunk, but again, it's not the end of the world. Um, And from here, I believe I can just recover. I want to keep this thing healthy. It still checks Arcanine pretty well. Unless it's banned Arcanine, we can check that. Um, we'll live a hit from a neutral for alligator as well. Um, so I feel okay with that. He's just gonna send headbutt. Just don't flinch me. There we go. So we're gonna recover. Up, oh, big chime time. Chime time, baby. Now, I do not think it's in my best interest to set up because the fortress is still literally at full HP. Um, so I don't see it as very beneficial to do so. So what I'm gonna do... 
is, I think, just click Psychic. I feel pretty comfortable doing so. He's going to high jump kick. Um, And we should 2-hit KO with Psychic, which is nice as well. And I'll just recover again. I could try and set up, to be completely honest. I really could, because I don't think... <laughs> I really don't think that he can do much to beat me. Ling. Helix Fossil. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Wow. That I mean, that's cool. Damn, bro. Um, I think what I do is I always go into BFO. And I think I always just double edge, right? Yeah. I think I always just double edge. Yeah, for sure. Um, pretty darn freely. God, oh, that was cool. That was a very cool bring. I could have flamethrower, but I don't want to give the free uh, free setup to for alligator because I'll probably just stay in and double edge the for alligator to be completely honest. And he's gonna withdraw what into forty? Yeah, he could have like and again I could have flamethrowered, but I don't think it's in my best interest to be completely honest. We'll double edge though. This thing's probably gonna set up hazards. I always go hard blaze again. I think, like always go hard blaze again. Always, always, always. We're Sash, so we'll, I'll live a boom, I guess, um, if that's what he wants to go for. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can do. We're going to see a Gyro Ball. That's fine with me. I'm just going to... Do I want to Focus Blast here? Do I want to Focus Blast? I feel like I want to Focus Blast here and call this thing switching. He doesn't switch. Shadow Stitch does not like to switch. That is okay. Um, focus Blast is going to do a chunk. Citrus. Hey, I am very, very interested at just letting this die. Um, I feel like that is a very, very interesting lay to go for. But regardless, I think I have to stay in and focus blast this thing. Uh, the gator coming in. Um, yeah, I think I do because I'm Scarf Toro, so I should be able to revenge it provided I get a hit off. Um... Shit, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna focus blast. We're gonna focus blast. We are gonna connect, which is super good. That's great, because now it'll be in range. Ooh, it. It clicks that button. Okay, I don't like that actually. Um. Regardless, I think I click focus blast again. I don't think I can stay in. Um, I need to calc something. Poros to a Feraligator. That plus two. Aqua Jet. Oh, 50. Oh, 50. Let's see. Aqua Jet. Uh, nope. Plus two. It should not kill me. So we'll be able to go into that, and I think just click double edge um if he wants to go into his arcanine after i'm also in an okay position does flamethrower kill this thing i don't think it does i'm just gonna double edge i see no reason not to yeah i think this is always my play always 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 we gotta be careful obviously um but i think that our best way of winning this game is with Gorbis. We're gonna have to play this very in game very offensively. Um, again, we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'm definitely very nervous. He's gonna withdraw into Arcanine. That's actually good. I think I'm gonna stay in and spam Double Edge because Arcanine. To my Gorbis. Leftovers. So I know it's not banned. Yeah, I think I'm just spam double edge. I think it's in my best position to try and get in with um my go oh god. I crit. Don't flare blitz. Don't flare blitz. Oh, that crit's actually bad. That crit's actually terrible. Dude. You're 
kidding me. Okay, um... You've got to be kidding me. Oh, it's a terrible position. Okay. Um, we're faster than Medicham still, though, because so Medicham can't come in, and I think I'll still be able to set up on the other ones. Oh, that sucks. I actually did not want to crit that thing at all. Oh, my gosh. You ever been so upset about a crit before? Now, let's go for you. Um, he should Aqua Jet and try and pick me off. Good. Okay. Let's go to for alligator. Anything it goes for, I should be fine. I think I win this game with Gorbis. I think I win the game with Gorbis. I think Gorbis sweeps. Oh my gosh, that crit was actually so disadvantageous for me. I don't think he has anything to hit me. Superpower. We live. Perfect. And we will live in Aqua Jet afterwards. So I think that's the game. And we have Protect for the Metacham, if that's what it uh, wants to go for. So we're going to Shell Smash up. Okay. Okay, okay. I think it's okay. I think we win the game. We're wider, correct. Pretty sure we're wider. I don't even think a crit Aqua Jet will kill me. So we're going to wider. I'm going to make sure I don't misclick. We're going to Surf. Hopefully knock this thing out. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully knock this thing out. And I think we position the Gorbis endgame. He might stack Fortress here, and I think that might be his best play, to be completely honest. Um, but I don't think it matters. Uh, let's see. Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet. With a crit. And I'm not even looking at my specific spreads right now, because I, I just don't think it matters. Okay, yeah, he's just going to Aqua Jet here. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Imagine Shell Smashing again. That would have been a psychopath play. Um, we know the Fortress isn't cussed out, so that's another thing. We don't have to scout for that with Protect. We're wasting a turn if we Protect. Uh, we're just going to Surf. And I don't think there's any scenario in which he can PP stall us either. Or uh, Timer stall us either. Just because we haven't even got like a three minute mark left and we all have the last two members. Um, so we always Protect on the Metacham. Because if that's what he's trying to bluff right now, just in case, there's no reason for me to worry about it. He can't sub. If he recovers, he still dies. So I think I'm always fine protecting. So protect. Bullet punch. Okay. I don't think crit bullet punch kills us. Make sure we don't misclick. We click surf. And I think we are good to win this game. 1-0. Oh, yeah, I don't think crit killed us. Awesome. Look at look at Gorbis grabbing a sweep. Our last round pickup coming to the first game and winning it for us. Uh, GG's a South Stitch. Good lord. That was pretty terrifying. Um, the crit on the Arcanine was pretty scary, but honestly, it kind of put me in a position where I actually, I think, ended up probably taking less damage than I might have from Arcanine. I don't know. I don't know its coverage. Um, it could have been like CC, but I think we still would have taken... No, we would have taken less from that thing than the... Um, what do you call it? the gator but he also might add e-speed on it which would have been really scary so maybe it was a blessing in disguise who knows uh but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to drop a like if you're new here be sure to drop us up and i will see you guys in the next one later <laughs>